multi-step word problems with whole numbers. Let's go. A PE class has 48 students. One group of 24 chooses to play basketball. So, or chooses to play volleyball, I should say. So we're now at 40, we're now at 24, right? 48 minus 24. The teacher then divides the remaining students into as many groups of five as possible to shoot baskets. After that, the remaining students will climb the rock wall. So this is really interesting. I'm gonna write down what they're telling us to do and what they're asking for, and then we're gonna do it. So first off, they want us to do 48 minus 24, right? That equals 24, no problem. 24 people went off to play volleyball. Okay. Then the second step is we're gonna take that 24 and divide it by five. Well, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20. 25 is too many. So we get four with a remainder, I'm sorry, other way around. Well, that's right, we get four with a remainder of four, right? Four left over. So each one of the groups of students shooting hoops will be four, but that's not what it's asking. It's asking who or how many are left over when all is said and done to go climb the rock climbing wall. And it looks like that is also four. Sanji scored 125 points on the first round of a video game uh, and 263 points in the second round. His total score after the third round was 557. How many more points did he score in the third round than in the first round? Again, this is a very trickily worded question and that is on purpose because it's important to know what question it is that you're answering Otherwise, you're going to get the right answer to the wrong question, which is going to end up being the wrong answer. How many points did he score up to that point? That's 263 plus 125. That's a fairly easy one, it looks like. So he had 388 points when he got into round three, okay? At the end, he had 557. So we're going to subtract 388. Of course, this ends up not being a nice, neat, easy um, subtraction. We'll go ahead and take 10 away from this 50. 17 minus eight is nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, just making sure. We have to borrow 100 from here. 14 tens minus eight tens, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's six here. Again, another 69, I swear to God. This is just, this is just the way my day is going. So we have 169 points in round three. But the question was how many more points did Sanji score in round three than in round one? So we're gonna take that 169, we're gonna subtract 125, and our final answer is 44 points. As you can see, and I have no idea if this is centered or not, yeah, that looks fine. It, it, as you can see, there's a lot of steps here. There's a lot of steps here, but each step is something that we've done in the past. This kind of problem is about teaching students how to, how to begin to grapple with problems that are more than just one step, that might require you to figure out when are you supposed to add, when are you supposed to subtract, and all of this will not only help out with more complicated math later on, but it will really help them with their number sense, um, which is going to be useful in all kinds of ways uh, all throughout their lives. So 44 points, assuming I did all of this right, is how many more points Sanji scored in the third round than the first round. Let's see if I actually did all that right. Excellent, moving on. Abigail buys two cartons of strawberries. See, I like this particular kind of problem because unlike some of the math problems that you see involving 397 cantaloupes, at least this one is reasonably realistic. Two cartons of strawberries, one has 19, the other has 26. She wants to divide the berries into bags so that there are exactly six berries in each bag. So this is an addition problem, then a division problem. We're gonna start with 19 plus 26. 
All right, well, 9 and 6 is 15. 20 and 10 and 10 is 40. So we've got 45 strawberries total. So we're doing 45 divided by 6. Okay, well, I know that 6 times 7 is 42. And that would leave 3 left over. So I can take those 45 strawberries and I can break them up into seven bags of six and then there will be three left over that I'll probably eat for myself. So again, very important that you answer the question that's asked. It asks how many bags will have six berries. It could have instead said how many berries will be left over, in which case our answer would be different. A class sold tickets to their school play. Each of the 23 students in the class sold four tickets. The cost of each ticket was $7. Now this is another really great multiplication problem because we do 23 times four to find out the total number of tickets. Then we do 24, or we do that product times seven to find out the total amount of money. It's really amazing how many real life day-to-day -day interactions involve multiplication to some degree or another. So being able to do this quickly, either by estimation or not, in this case not, um, is a very useful skill to have. So I'm gonna say 23 times four. Well, three times four is 12. Four and 20, or four times 20 is 80 and 10 is 90. So I sold 92, or they sold 92 tickets total. And then we're gonna take that 92 and we're gonna multiply it by seven to get the total amount of money. I find sometimes it's important to go ahead and write down what various numbers mean as I go through a problem, because a lot of the time it's easy to sort of lose yourself in the calculations and forget what it is you're actually solving for. Uh, 92 times seven, so seven times two is 14. Uh, seven and 90 is 630 and one is 640. Dollars. So we end up with $644 total. Again, assuming I did all of that right. Which I did.